James, we're sitting on this big bad boy. Are you doing all the construction yourself or are you actually going to subcontract out to a construction team? Um, with the development of this size, we, we do have to get um, uh, other contractors in. Um, with the Earthworks, the contractors are Glam Constables, which is a company of one of the partners, Michael Zlamini. So it is being kept in house, yes. but we've used, utilized the, the services of the subcontractors okay. for the various machines, etc. You refer to the, the TLB. Yeah, well, I call it a bad boy, James. <laughs> <laughs> and James, yeah. and what, what about some of the other projects uh, you, you've been involved in? Obviously, Michael Zamini has been involved in because uh, you've done some big, big projects before. Yeah. Um, the relationship with Michael started probably 20 years ago when um, my partner and brother, Mark Johnson, um, they they ran the Amlazi Mega City job. I don't know if you if you know where that is. I've been there, yes. It's a beautiful centre, and that's Mark and, and Mark actually and, and our company put it together, the Amlazi Mega City, and Michael was one of the appointed project managers. Right. So he's a project manager by, by trade. Mark is, yes. is, uh, is also our project manager and engineer. Then on our side, from the development point of view. Yeah. Um, we've done a number of developments in, in the Hillcrest Upper Highway area. We've done um, Conscree Falls Estate, yes. which is in the Kloof area. We've done Waterford Country Estate yes. in Waterfall. We've done Kirtlington Park, a much bigger one. Yeah. And then uh, the other one is Clifton Hill, which was 250 homes. So we've do we're actively in, 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 in the development game, yeah. So and you, we have you basically... And we do also shopping centres. Shopping centres. You've yeah. basically changed, I suppose you've been instrumental in maybe changing Hillcrest in, in many respects because I mean this was obviously Luke Bales's we're actually sitting on Luke Bales's sugarcane farm uh, which is yeah. which is quite strange yeah and so you've been very involved in that yeah well I mean if, if, if you recall 20 years ago this was all sugarcane yeah, or, or well. it was a sugarcane and then there was plantations yes and the first um, chunk of land to be developed was Kirtlington so that was yeah. that sort of sort of um, was the catalyst that started all that, yeah. yeah, I actually yeah. So we've been starts. involved in the design and yeah. the, the, the whole land parceling of this area for, for, for at least 22 years. I suppose that's why maybe a project of this nature must be even more exciting for you because obviously Kirtlington Park is a beautiful estate but it's obviously aimed at the upper end and, and yeah. Clifton Hill yeah. to, to a certain yeah. extent as well. So I suppose this is actually almost a new, a new sort of business for you in many respects, so this type of market. Most definitely. Um, coming in in that price, but offering the same facilities that you will find in the Cotswolds okay. and, and, and the Kirtlingtons. Um, definitely a, 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 new, a new avenue that we are going into with, with this market. Yeah. One, one of the questions that uh, we get asked all the time with clients coming through is how do you achieve the same quality, but at a much cheaper price? And, 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 and then it's actually an interesting question because everybody would uh, expect, you know, we started our prices from 599,000. But when you look at the finishes and everything else that you're providing, I mean, it's, it's a much of a much more upmarket unit. How, how are you achieving that? Um, we've got a very good buying department. We also, we, we, you asked the question earlier on with regards to who you, you, you use as far as builders and that. Yes. We have our own building division. So we, we are going to be we're going to be doing the building ourselves with Michael and we're bringing in some more um, senior management okay. just to run it run this project. Yes. Um, with achieving it ourselves, we're not subbing it out to a contractor, one of the big boys, yeah. who, who you would probably think. Whereas their their um, overhead their starting base is probably thirty percent more than ours anyway, just to start with. So we we're fortunate enough in that we we our overhead structure allows us to come in with the competitive prices on, on, in this market. Which is actually quite amazing because, I mean, these prices have never been a, uh, in Hillcrest. No, you just look at the, the square meter rate. We, exactly. We, so, so over 10,000? 10, 10, between 10 and 11. 10, 11,000. And the, obviously meter. the bigger homes with the bigger freestanding homes, yes. they're going to be a little bit more, but yeah. they go up to 15, but that's yeah. because you've, you've got your own property within uh, a gate of the state. And James, yeah. if you just want to walk with me, just for a second, um, you mentioned obviously our neighbors. Which oh is, yeah. Which is a beautiful estate, yeah. Cotswold Downs. Yeah. Um, if you got on this this truck here, you want to get on there, we could probably see the sea from there. Hey, I can see the twelfth hole on Cotswold from here. <laughs> Can't see the sea. James, isn't that where you drove your boy into the water over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a nice course there. It is a lovely course. Yeah. Of course, um, And it's literally when you hear of stone throw, it's a stone's throw away from our our property, from our development. Yeah. And that's obviously Ananda Dam, just over the hill. Ananda Dam, that side. Which is, I mean, one of the best kept secrets of KZN, I, I, I believe. Yeah. So although you're very close to, I mean, we've got Scooting, we've got Waterford College up there, Kara, and all the other 
very good schools, Hillcrest High. Um, although we're very central, it really feels like we're in a very quite peaceful, almost a farm type environment, isn't it? Well, I think the whole concept um, is for space. Yeah. And uh, although you're in a secure, secure account with 500 other homes, yeah. you want to feel that space. So, yeah, yeah. that is the um, concept that we were going for. Well, I think even at this stage, you've achieved it. So, I mean, when I was driving up, I, I actually saw a herd of cows grazing, grazing yeah. on the side, e e eating all your landscaping. Yeah. Oh, just, just on the landscaping, I believe you're planting over 3,000 trees here. Is, is that correct? Um, it, it, that was the, the, the original plan, but what happens is yeah. we'll always end up with more than that. More. It always happens, yeah. Are you actually starting your nursery on site? We will start our own nursery on site. Okay. We, we, we're busy with that, trying to set that up all now. And our yeah. other development, which is 263 on Nanda Road, oh, that's which is also up. there, Yes. Um, 53 homes. We actually, the first thing we did is we've got our own landscape uh, um, guy, which we, we're trying to put in his own business at the same time, oh, which is what, one, one of our goals as well when we do these developments. Yes. He has created a complete nursery of all the plants taken from the site. Okay. So we've utilized everything that was on there and we've just wow. um, made the whole nursery with all those plants. So mm. it's yeah, amazing. that's what we will do here. Because one of the, one of the issues with a new developments, I mean, sometimes it looks so barren, doesn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously it takes, it takes it, a while it, it takes to a get while. to settle, but putting all this, these trees and plants immediately will have quite a nice environment, bring yeah. the birds back, which will be absolutely brilliant. 100%. Okay. Good. Couldn't see the sea, sorry. It's quite a view from here.